Okay, family. I'm officially on set to do the white floor tutorial. I'm going to try to walk you through the steps. It's actually a super simple process if you have the right tools. Number one tool, bring along your baby. So the crew went before me. They used this caulk, it's called Dynaflex, and they caulked in all the really big holes that you see. So I'm just gonna go over, paint them, and then the paint's not gonna seep down into those holes. The paint that we always use is Valspar from Lowe's. It's a porch paint, so it's really sturdy, really durable. We're not using just normal wall paint. We're using paint that's gonna hold up, and we're gonna apply it in about three or four coats. I've also got my baby, my paintbrush, and a shop vac. So we're gonna see how this goes. The most important step is vacuuming, or the least important. But today, we're gonna vacuum first, make sure that all the dust particles are cleaned up. That way, when we're painting, we're not painting over dust. Okay, people, don't put this on like the first floor of your house if you're a neat freak slash perfectionist. Personally, I'm fine with it in my office, and I don't care if it has some dust, some scratches, some brown marks, but if you care about that kind of stuff, don't come whining. So it's not going to be perfectly white all the days of your life unless every year you give it a fresh new coat of paint. But what it is gonna be is it's gonna be beautiful, it's gonna be striking, it's gonna be clean looking, and it's gonna add just a beautiful pop to a space. This is something I learned from my sister Clarita. She did it in her attic in Georgia before they moved to Pennsylvania. And even as a teenager, I remember thinking, this is beautiful. I'm gonna do this someday. <laughs> Step one, vacuum. The number one question we get asked when people hear about white floors is, how are you gonna keep those floors clean? What's your tip? What's your cleaning solution? How are they gonna stay white? Well, let me tell all you perfectionists out there, they're not. I hear people complaining about white walls, open shelving. You know, what's the world? People can complain about everything these days, it seems. But I don't wanna hear you complaining about white floors. If you put them in your house, they're just gonna be that way. They're white. So I am willing, personally, to put up with what it takes to keep white floors white. Ish, whitish. And you know, it doesn't bother me when they're not so white. So if you're like on the perfectionist skill, one to 10, you're like a 20. These are not for you, my friend. I brought in my super awesome helper today who actually knows more about this stuff than me. So we'll see how reliable he's gonna be. Any thoughts <laughs> on white floors? Hey, let's do it. So I got my little buddy Chris back here doing the, the dirty work for me. This in all took us about a half hour total to do the whole room. Because we're so fast. <laughs> Any professional painters out there watching? Don't judge. So I think what's gonna have to happen is I'm seeing a lot of bleeding through coming from the wood. Why would that happen, Chris? Uh, probably uh, maybe some water got in here. It's probably, maybe the roof was leaking, so there's some water marks, as I'm guessing. So the next step is gonna, we're gonna have to gonna buy a gallon of Kills paint, which we'll show you, and that will have to be the next step for another day. So we have one coat of primer on and one coat of Kills paint on, and the bleeding of the dirt or the water damage is still coming through. So what I'm gonna do now is put on one more coat of Kills, and then we're gonna see what happens. We've also got some serious damage from some footprints gonna show you that and I'm gonna track down who did this. 